Over the last two decades, 16 countries from around the world, led by the United States, have combined their design and transportation resources to create the International Space Station. Its primary mission, to conduct valuable scientific experiments and improve the quality of life for all humankind. As astronauts conduct these experiments called payloads on board the International Space Station orbiting 210 miles above the planet, they're also working in partnership with hundreds of scientists from around the world. And all scientific data and communications are funneled through this room. Welcome to the Payload Operations Center here at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. While the astronauts are hard at work in space, the team here in the Payload Operations Center becomes the focal point for U.S. science activities on board the space station. Mike Fink, space station astronaut during his stay on the station. The ground teams here work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to manage the use of space station payload resources, as well as send remote commands and data transmissions to the orbiting research center. They are essentially another crew member, and they are also our friends with whom we communicate daily. Coordinating research on the space station is a complex process, and it all begins with the payload operations director. My job as the leader of the Payload Operations Center Flight Control Team is to guide the execution of the NASA payload activities aboard the International Space Station. I interface and coordinate all payload activities with mission control in Houston, the crew aboard the space station, and the scientists and payload developers, as well as the international partners across the globe. The day-to-day -day space station assignments are guided by the operations controller. We're responsible for the uh, real-time execution and planning of all U.S. controlled payloads on board the ISS. We ensure that these activities are uh, accomplished on time and safely and help the crew uh, resolve any issues that they might have on board. The voice of the operations center, as far as the astronauts are concerned, is the payload communications manager, also known as the PACOM. We talk to the astronauts on a daily basis, relaying payload-related communications between the Payload Operations Center and the station. It, it's really neat that we get to know the crew pretty well during their six-month shift on station. Right behind the window at the console nearest you is the data management coordinator, helping with all communications efforts. We configured the onboard video and data systems to make sure that scientists around the world receive their downlink science results and experiment telemetry. We also handle video and television operations should the scientists and astronauts uh, need to discuss something on a project that they are working on. Most experiments on the space station are installed in different sections called racks, where the astronauts can work with them and store them in an efficient manner. Here in the Payload Operations Center, the payload rack officer is linked by computer to more than 50 experiments on the space station. As a payload rack officer, we monitor and control the payload support system, things like the vacuum and nitrogen, uh, electrical thermal support systems that payloads will need on a day-to-day -day basis. Working on two-week rotations from the Johnson Space Center in Houston, the lead increment scientist representative liaisons between the station's lead scientist in Houston, the payload operations center in Huntsville, and the scientists all around the world who have experiments in space. I help to determine which experiments are given priority when the issue arises and work with the payload operation directors to ensure all science research on board station is complete each week and the scientists back on Earth are satisfied with the operations and results of their experiment. The crew of the International Space Station performs cutting-edge science experiments around the clock in the unique environment of space thanks to the many contributions from the Payload Operations Center. Thanks for visiting NASA's Payload Operations Center and enjoy the rest of your tour of the Marshall Space Flight Center.